Morning everyone. It's Saturday the 15th of July. Uh, here in Scotland the weather is very changeable. I know in Europe they're having a, a massive heat wave. I don't know what's happened up Scotland way but we're getting a lot of showers and a lot of changeable weather. I'm due to break up for my holidays soon, not going anywhere but I just hope it, the weather comes for that. Uh, the name of the channel, Smoggy, I don't know if anybody knows what it means. Where, as you may tell by my accent, I'm from the northeast of England. When I first came to Scotland, a lot of people called me a Geordie, which upset me a lot. But Smoggy is actually from Middlesbrough. When you look at the northeast coast of the UK, you have sort of Newcastle, which is obviously Geordie's, probably the most famous in the northeast Sunderland you have uh, Mackhams I lived in Sunderland for a while and my two two children girls were born there and then you've got Middlesbrough which are smoggies and the, the term smoggy is referenced with the smog that used to happen in London many years ago it's like a fog and it used to happen during the day and I think they still get it in like highly populated cities like New York uh, in Middlesbrough, years ago, you, 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 when you left school, a majority of people either worked at the big chemical works of ICI or the British Steel. Sadly, both of them have gone now. There are still some chemical works, but nowhere near as big as it used to be. Uh, let's turn back to gold. Now, looking at the gold market... I tend to look at the, the silver in dollars for some reason. I watch a lot of YouTube, obviously, and the the majority of the silver programmes are uh, American. So they're always talking about the magic $25. And I think Friday it hit the $25. And this got me to thinking. I originally started stacking about a month ago with the intention of a 10 year plan. I want to retire then and I want to use the stack probably just to secure my finances and possibly buy a big uh, motorhome because me and my partner want to do traveling then. So I was going to use the stack to sort of help fund that. But what happens if a lot of people who were, who were been in this market a long time are predicting silver to go off the scale. Like, what if it goes to $100, $200, $300, $400 an ounce in the next year or so? Would I sell then? Because uh, will it will it sort of peak and then drop back? Imagine if it went to 400 and then goes down back down to sort of sub $25. I'm going to be as sick as a parrot. So I'm a little confused about that. Gold prices, I'm not overly bothered because I don't have a lot of gold. Because when I did my initial research, <coughs> right or wrong, I thought that there's more scope in silver to go up than there is... Uh, sorry, there's more, more scope for silver to go up than gold because there's like an 80 to 1 differential. I think it's slightly down now to 78 but uh, <clears throat> I just wonder about that so I'm, I tend to put all my eggs in into silver I do collect a, a little bit of gold and you'll see this later on in this in this video so uh, I've been not been very well lately so I've been very quiet my days off from work I've been resting and the garden looking like a jungle with all with all the relatively warm temperatures and on all the rain the garden's gone wild so like i previously stated i'm on holiday next week so i'm going to have to do something but anyway i digress my now my recent purchases have been gold ironic ironically and i bought some half sovereigns now there's lots of these on ebay and i i, I weeded the the ones out and i got i actually got two i'll show you the other one in a minute I don't know why that uh, came out. Ignore that stupid price. Uh, hold on. 
I'm all fingers and thumbs. All right, there we go. So it came in a presentation box and then it's a proof sovereign. I'm not overly sure what the word proof means, but, and I was quite shocked actually when it came because uh, this is my first sovereign of any kind. I've only got two gold coins and it's both these ones, 2023 Britannias, the king. So these are the only two I've got and these are one ounce. And like when it came, I was quite shocked in the difference in the size. So it's a half sovereign, 1980 I believe. So that, that was the initial shock, but they are nice. And they came in a capsule and a little presentation box. But what is strange, there's like a lip and the obvious way to put them back in the case is like that. But that's with the head. Like, and I, I did think, has this been taken out and put back wrong? Because, like, for me, it should be like that, as in the picture. But to put it back correctly, it's like that. So I thought, I wonder if that's been taken out. And then when the second one came, it's slightly different booklet. It's the same with the head up. So I'm assuming that's the way they were packaged. For me, the logical thing would have been like that. So here's the second one. Lovely coin. 1980, just as good as new. I'm just moving it about to catch the light and stuff. Excuse the dirty fingers. I have done a little bit of gardening. There we go. And then the third one I bought was from my best friends at Bullion by Post. You can watch a video where I buy these these two from. One went perfect and I had a, a bit of trouble with the other one. But I got compensation. They sent me a, a, coin, a silver coin for free, which was good. And this box that I store my David Bowie one. Uh, my little pride and joy. I'd love to buy the gold version of this, but that's way out of my range at the moment. There's a lot of uh, high premiums on it. I would much prefer buying one of these with the low premiums than the David Bowie one. But it's nice anyway. And uh, so I bought one from Bullion by Post. This is here. 2023. Oh, those fingers look awful. This is one with white gloves. And, uh, and there's one with a crown. The reason why I bought this is because I wanted one with a crown on. <coughs> Because as you see, majority of them, the king doesn't have his crown on. There are special editions and stuff, coronation ones where he wears his crown. But for the run of the mill ones, he doesn't wear them. So at least I've got something with his crown on. I know I said I wasn't going to stack and all that, but, but like I say, I wanted one with a crown on. And I said I wasn't going to buy anything less than an ounce, but you're not paying overly for these premiums i don't think especially the second hand ones i got these at good prices so i'm happy happy about that i, I know i got these these ones a lot cheaper than the bullion by post but i had no choice about this one because i wanted one with a crown on so that is it really for today so my little gold stacks getting up i do intend to buy the the 2024 Britannia when it comes out. Being new to this, I don't know when it comes out, but what little research I've done, it's usually sort of back end of July, August, I believe, to come out. I've put a, like, a link on Bullion by Post to, to let me know when it arrives. This one was actually not in when I first ordered it. Uh, so this it was supposed to be out the 6th, 6th of july but i only got it a few days ago so it was over over due so i don't know when these are going to come out the britannia 2024 and my aim is to buy at least one of these every year so i'll have a 2024 2025 etc etc so i'm waffling on a bit and coming up to the 10 minute mark which is a lot for me and I've actually done this in one take. I try and do it all in one because I prefer the raw ones. 
that's why I don't know if you've noticed sometimes I call gold silver and I call silver gold but you do tend to get the drift of what I'm talking about so that is it from Scotland so it's Saturday let's look at the time it's 9 36 in the morning wherever you are enjoy your weekend I hope that if you're in Europe the weather's better than Scotland enjoy your weekend bye for now